I'm here because I am a roaring lion crying out righteousness. All right, so former governor and former secretary to Tribulation Trump in his first run as president, Nikki Haley has launched her presidential bid today in Columbia, South Carolina. Uh, she is a native Indian from the subcontinent of India and uh, pretty much raised up here in America and entered into politics. And now she's thrown her hat into the ring uh, to, to be, I think, was to be the first Republican woman to run for president on her own. Uh, Sarah Palin, of course, was, ran with John McCain as vice president uh, in the Republican troop. Uh, but I think this will be a first in terms of at least an announcement or declaration. Maybe there's someone else. I think that may, I don't know. I mean, not hold me to that. I, but at any rate, uh, this is a farce. I'm just going to tell you right now. The whole Nikki Haley's entire existence on planet Earth is a lie. She's, this, is, this is a fake. Um, and, you know, she told Tribulation Trump she'd never run against him because he was the greatest president ever. You know, she said that. Uh, but let me tell you what let me tell you what she's doing. Nikki Haley threw her hat in the ring to be the 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 vice presidential running mate of Tribulation Trump. That's what this is all about. Come on, I can pull your coat and take the wool off your eyes and all this faking stuff, this head fake. Nikki Haley ain't, ain't gonna know she ain't gonna, ain't gonna beat Trump. They're doing what? She can't even beat Trump sopping molasses. But if she sticks out there now, like Camelback ain't Black Harris did during the presidential campaign. And uh, she became vice president with Joe Biden, my time Biden. You see what I'm saying? The other thing I find very interesting, you know, Jim Clyburn, that senator for the Congress from down there in South Carolina, down there, you know, the man with all the, if you're king making power, made Joe Biden my time Biden by putting, by telling him, if you take Camelback, Black Ain't Black Harris as your running mate, and Joe Biden hated Camelback Harris, Camelback Harris. He hated that woman. At least that's what I thought. I could be wrong. So what Nikki Haley is doing now is she's putting in a bid to try, try to out-distance Marjorie Taylor Greene. Because Marjorie Taylor Greene wants to be vice president, too. You know that, right? Y'all know, know that. So let me ask you a question. Who do you like best to be the vice president? Because Trump is going to run, right? You know he's going to run. He's, oh, he's already running. So who do you like best to be vice president for Trump? Marjorie Taylor Greene, y'all know her, right? Or Nikki Haley, those two women, right? Which one, I mean, which, who do who you think would be the best running mate uh, with Trump? I, you know, I, Marge, I, you know, I think that if you pick Marjorie Taylor Greene, that she's going to bring that girl got so much baggage with her. I mean, things that she done, things that the Democrats can talk about. She was down there in the well last Wednesday night when Joe Biden was out there talking about the State of the Union. She's standing up there in a white fur coat, yelling and screaming, calling him a liar. You know, she chased down that boy from down there, that boy Hogg, that David Hogg boy from down there in uh, Marjorie Stone Dugman School that that shooting took place a couple of years ago. She chased him down the street calling him a fake, you know. I think she brings a gun with her <laughs> to Congress every day. Mar I like it. I'm, you know, okay, all right, I don't like it. Forget that. I forget I said that. Uh, but... So, you know, she, she, so I don't know. She would probably be more controversial than Trump himself. But she wants to be vice president. That's why she said, OK, she was for Kevin McCarthy to become Speaker of the House. She's the first one said, all right, OK, we're going to have Kevin McCarthy. Everybody else encouraged that woman, that Bobert woman out there in, in, in New Mexico, Arizona. Uh, you know, they were fighting like cats and dogs about that. But I think that... Um, so Nikki Haley wants to be vice president. She ain't, ain't running for president. Now, let me can pull your coat. Can I pull your coat to one more thing? Yes, she will with Trump. By the way, Nikki Haley has a very voluptuous reputation of being a man chaser. I'm not a one. I mean, a man chaser. I mean, a lot of. You know, anyway, let's leave. But you're going to leave that damn scene, but it, there's a, but there's, Nikki, Nikki Haley is not the only one from South Carolina who wants to be for vice, who wants to be Trump's vice president. There's a boy down there, oh man, I should call him boy, because right, right, right away you call me racist. Senator Tim Scott, y'all know him? Senator Tim Scott. He is one odd looking boy, I tell you. What is wrong with his head? Anyway, <laughs> he, 
He's a, he's, a, he's a Republican senator, right, from South Carolina. You got Nikki Haley from South Carolina. You got Tim Scott from, you got Jim Clyburn from South Carolina. So it is rumored that uh, Tim Scott is going to run for president as well. The first, you know, if he runs for, he'd be the first showing a stomp down if you were a black president. But black people ain't going to vote for him, you know, probably too dark skinned. You know how black people are. But at any rate, he, um, he, he's, he's going to announce, I think probably Thursday or Friday, maybe next week he'll announce he's running for president. But he's not really, really running for president either. He's running to be vice president. They, of both, these people, the only person that actually that would run for president, want to be president, would be Ron DeSantis from down there in Florida. I think he's going to run. He hasn't announced he's going to run. Everybody's saying he's going to run, you know, uh, but he hadn't made the big announcement as of yet. But he would be truly running to be he'd be truly running to beat Trump. But Trump gonna walk all Trump gonna run over that boy like a Mack truck running over a skateboard. I can tell you that right. Ron DeSantis, when Trump get through with, uh, Trump has no <laughs> Trump has the, the things that he says about people. You know, he, everybody got to get a name. And they, and it's just hard to beat him. And the other thing is that Trump has got most of the, the, the base, and I think that Ron DeSantis will simply be running on the case, on the platform that he'll be Trump number two. And they already got Trump number one. He'd be running it out of the same principles that Trump, the border crisis and all that other stuff. Trump talks about the culture wars or that Trump talks about, you know, Biden and all in Joe Hunter and all that Biden stuff, you know, we, 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 well, Trump's already doing that. So we don't need DeSantis. DeSantis may, may have to cool his heels for another four years. and Because he's still a young fellow, quite frankly. Uh, cool his heels for another four years. But I think he's going to run anyway. But I think Tim Scott wants to be vice president. Imagine that. Oh, we could put a picture of Tim Scott and Trump together. What would that look like? Because, you know, I think Trump might consider Tim Scott. You know, to be his vice, he's a pretty conservative guy, Tim Scott. He don't make a whole lot of fuss on, on the, on the uh, uh, you know, he's a senator. And, you know, but he don't make a whole lot of fuss. But he, I think the people in South Carolina like him. I think uh, that, that Mitch McConnell, the, you know, the minority leader in the Senate, I think likes him too. He's just funny looking to me. I just, what a, funny looking, what a, the head and his eye and everything. But I mean, you know, people look like what they look like. Somebody might say, I'm funny looking. Okay, all right, okay. All right. Well, you know, people are who they are. So I'm trying to figure out, you know, when he's going to make it, if he makes an announcement to run for president. I mean, vice, he's going to run for president. But really what he's doing, he's saying, well, I want, I, I'm, he's running to be vice president. And Trump and, on, and uh, uh, what's his name, uh, Tim Scott on the same ticket. These are the two front runners, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Nikki Haley, and Tim Scott. They all want to be vice, Trump's vice president. So I don't know who's going to vote for Trump this year. By the way, There'll probably be some indictments dropped against Trump, but I don't think he cares anything about that. You know, they're going to try to put him, you know, that, that Fanny Willis woman down there in Georgia, that she's a, I think she's the district attorney for Fulton County. I think she's going to try to drop something on Trump, you know, an indictment on him. That's what I think. I think that boy Jack Scott, too, from over there uh, at the Department of Justice, appointed by Mary Garland, who's doing all this, um, you know, investigation and they called Mike Pence there. They told Mike Pence, you got to come and testify. Mike said he's going to, that Mike is a, they should call him Mike P. Now, I don't want to offend anybody. And please forgive me if you're offended, you know. Please forgive me if you're offended. I don't, that's not my intent. And I'm not going to say the word. I'm not going to say the word. But um, Mike P., uh, now he been he been subpoenaed. He says he gonna fight the subpoena. What he said what, uh, between him and Trump was confidential. But he he's written a book called "So Help Me God." Y'all see him sitting there on the steps with a pair of boots on a pair of blue jeans. He about us. He's another funny looking one. That Mike Pence. So, uh, he wrote a book called "So Help Me God," and he's on the book tour right now, selling his books, making money. But they've been finding all kind of documents in his house out there in Indiana. And uh, he says that uh, he's not going to testify. But the, part, the problem is that everything he talked to Trump is already in the book. These are some of the biggest. I'll tell you, I can, I've seen some big hypocrites, you know, especially anyway. 
But they, these are some of the biggest hypocrites I've ever seen. Said he's not going to testify. They got a subpoena him. I tell you what, look at it. He's sitting there on the steps. You can't see his boots, but he got a. They, they trying to look like he's a. I don't know what he's trying to look like. Like he's a middle American. Like he's from the middle America. You can forget about that piss. Joe Biden done wore that. Joe Biden done wore the frabbins off of a. You know, middle America. Everyday working man. The 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 the, the union man. The lunch bucket man. Joe Biden done wore the frappings off that thing. Talking about being raised up in, in Scranton, Pennsylvania. You can <laughs> His daddy had to move to Delaware. And they all had to work. And everybody, you know, his mama kept saying to him, his daddy kept saying, Joe, keep the faith. And his mama said, no, Joe, don't keep the faith. Spread the faith. And you can forget about that. Pence, you, you need to pick up another style, my brother, because Joe Biden and wore that common man out, that, that middle America man. Joe Biden and wore that thing out with his old self. <laughs> anyway, so I, I think that he's going to have to testify. And I, I, I think if, he, if, if Jack Scott, if they bring him subpoena, um, Trump is fighting it too, so he, but if he ever gets before Jack Scott, he's gonna tell, he gonna sing like a canary in the coal mine, or about all the things that Trump told him. Trump called him a Trump called him the p word. That's right. I, you, and you probably some of y'all probably heard some of y'all pretty smart. Some of y'all are too. You know, you don't want to hear that word. It's it's a, it's a word that uh, you know I ain't gonna use it. But you know, but Trump called him that. Yeah, Trump called him Trump. Mike P called him that. And so, and 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 uh, and and Mike P says uh, we're still friends. He says he's still friends with Trump. Mike, he is about the biggest phony. I, I thought Nikki Haley was a phony. Why are you so many phonies in the Republican Party? I mean, phony after phony after phony after phony after phony. You got more phony in the Republican Party than you got in the NAACP and Black Lives Matter combined. Talking about he and Trump had the people out there on January 6th were talking about hang Mike Pence, hang Mike Pence, hang Mike Pence. And uh, he said, well, Trump and I are still friends. I'll tell you something. You sent a mob to hang me. We ain't going to be friends no more. And I'm going to take it up with Jesus. Because somebody, some priest or some preacher come along and say, well, you know, it's supposed to forgive everybody. The Lord said forgive. Even those that hung him on the cross, he said forgive them for they know not what they do. So, yeah, that's good for Jesus. That's good. That makes good Bible teaching. I'll tell you what, go on and take that forgiveness and give all, forgive all the people you want to forgive. You, but you send somebody to hang me. And we, you know, we're going to take, I'm going to take that up with the Lord. And I see him. I say, well, I ain't, you know, I'm, you know. You want to forgive him, that's fine with me, but I ain't forgiven. I want to get even. <laughs> yeah. So Mike Pence said he and, he and Trump are still friends. You believe that? But that boy wants to be president so bad. But he's only like polling like 1% to 3%. I think Santos is polling like 29 to 30%. And Trump is, you know, Trump has got the base. He's got the MAGA base. They ain't going nowhere. They ain't going to never leave Trump. I don't know if I blame him. I, I, I think I'd probably stay with him, too. I, mean, I left Trump. I got off the Trump train, you know, because he bowed down to the to the LGBTQ people. Then he said Obama was born in Hawaii. I said, I ain't going there. This is it for me. Now, who, how am I going to stand before people after all that campaign that I did against Obama and campaign that I did against the LGBTQ and all the things the LGBTQ people are doing against me? And I'm going to bow down to that? Nah, so I let Trump go. But the other people, other birthers, they stayed with him. And they're not going to leave him. So I can tell you this, that's going to be a real, uh, I, you know, well, let's see what happens, all right? At any rate, I'm going to take a break. I'm James Evan Manning. I'm the Lord's servant. I'm taking a break. You got the Manning Report. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back.